some flowers never bend towards the sun. Hey, Mitzi. Miss Ashworth, I was worried sick about you. Are you alright? How did you get back? I walked. <laughs> you saw something terrible in that fog, didn't you? I saw a monster. Again, we killed, but we didn't have a choice this time. Oh. Maybe I need another bath. <laughs> Do I need to use this again? As it turns out, murdering people makes the bladder fall. Every single time, we've never washed our hands. How horrible is that? Bath today? Yeah! Oh no! Susan! <laughs> Miss Ashworth, I need to ask you something. Can I come in? I'm in the bath. Is it something important? Yes, very important. The fate of the world depends on it. <laughs> I'm naked here, you know. Whatever it is, it can wait. But it can't. I need to know, Miss A. Well, tough. I'm trying to relax here. I want some peace and quiet, if you don't mind. And I don't like people seeing me naked. Fine, not a problem. I'll just ask you to the door, then. I'm cooking up some pancakes. What do you like on yours? We've got strawberry jam, maple syrup, and chocolate spread. You're doing what? Pancakes. You need some food, Miss A. When was the last time you ate? I can't remember. See, you need a good meal. That'll cheer you up. Why would that worry you? You're funny, Miss A. You want to know why? Because I care about other people. And I believe nothing spells TLC better than sweet pancakes and a cup of hot green tea. Be nice. Oh, nice. I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. Oh no, you'll have two of each. I made so many that would be enough for an army. I don't really eat much. That's because you haven't tried my pancakes yet. And if you don't leave me alone now, I never will. Really? Why? I can smell something funny. I think your pancakes are burning. I'm so full up. Where did you learn to cook like that? My dad taught me. He was the king of pancakes. I'll wash up, if you like. I can do that. I like washing up. You do? Really? Really. I'm a good girl. And this is my treat for you, after all. Looks like we got the rain back. I almost felt like something was missing. Do you think it will ever stop? I mean, what if it doesn't? And it will rain for a million years. I'm not sure I get it. What's the point of that? What did you say it was called again? For the third time. Social network. Why is it so difficult to remember? I just find the whole idea really stupid. Why would I want to tell people that I'm having a shit day? So maybe you would feel better for sharing it with your friends. But I don't have any friends. No, you wouldn't with this attitude. You, on the other hand, seem to have 274 of them? How is that even possible? Well, what can I say? I'm very likable. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. So, they come every time you play the piano? Yeah, I don't really play that often. Mostly when I feel really sad. Maybe I actually play more often than I thought. You sado. I know a song written just for you. 
Remind me to play it to you sometimes. It'll cheer you up. It's called All Flowers in Time Bend Towards the Sun. Flowers, yeah. Of course they do. Do you know it? It's written by Jeff Buckley. He would have been bigger than Cobain, you know. I never heard of him. No, I probably didn't. He drowned in Mississippi when he was only young. I feel like we're doing better already. With Mitzi around. Oh my lord. Oh, that's me. Okay. <laughs> oh. I've created a profile for you. Maybe now you'll learn how to use it. What am I gonna do with it? Just look for people you know. Invite them. Talk to them. It's a good way to keep in touch. Maybe you could refresh some old friendships? I don't know. I can't think of any names. I probably never really cared enough about anybody. How about people you went to school with? Your old colleagues from work? Nope. Friends. Zero. At least they're right about one thing. I'll add you later. That'll be a start. I made us some coffee. Sit down and talk to me for a moment. I'm having a bad day. Do with some company. Sure. Coffee sounds great. Oh, we're getting along so well with Mitzi. It's so nice. What's wrong, Mitzi? Well, I'm not sure how to get started with this thing. I've been thinking about it the last few days, and I just don't seem to get any good ideas. Maybe I've been a fool all along, eluding myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. Maybe I can help you. I have lots of free time, you know? Last night, I made this, well, <laughs> map. I made a map. <laughs> this is our building, all four floors. There are two flats on each floor. You really want to help me? That's so great, Miss A. How will I ever pay you back for this? I'll think about it later. But we haven't found him yet, have we? No. But I feel that together we stand a chance. What are the numbers? So, let's talk about it. What do we know already? Uh, wow, Susan. I'm amazed at how much effort you put into this map. Without this map, I would not be able to visualize how this apartment looked like at all. No. <laughs> mm. What are the numbers at the bottom corner, I wonder? I know that rude, bald guy lives in flat six. I told you about him, didn't I? I think so. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? Right. That's Brian Palmer. Let's mark him on the map. What else do you know about him? Not much. I thought- Wait. I remember some woman lived there with him. I've not seen her for ages. They must have split up. Could he be our potential suspect? I don't think so, but who really knows? I thought you said he lived in flat 5 previously. Or maybe I remembered wrong. Yeah, I don't cross people off. Yeah, I suppose so. I think so. Okay. Let's take a closer look at him then. I don't think so, but it's better to not prematurely cross things off, right? We can cross off our flats, of course. Yep, good. That leaves us with only seven flats. Also, there's an old man in flat five, right opposite the Brian's place. Old man. There's an odd married couple that lives next door. Yeah? What do you know about them? Well, the man is called Joe Davis. He seems nice, quiet type, but I heard him shouting a couple of times, and he sounded almost like a different person. Like a madman, you know? I gather they must have some serious relationship problems, and they're trying to sort them out behind closed doors. 
it's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbors. I know it's none of my business, but I can't just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. And the wife? Ivy Davis. Or is it Sophie? I can't remember now. Anyway, she's very polite, always says hello when we pass by each other in the hall. She's one of those size double zero ladies, so skinny you could easily take her for a coat rack. A walking skeleton. I bet she only eats a leaf of lettuce a day, or nothing at all. My God, Susan. She looks quite ill, actually. Anything else? They used to have a cat, Lucifer. I often wonder what happened to the poor little chap. Lucifer with a PH. <laughs> Susan, stop being so judgmental. That was a lot of random details. Uh... I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. Which one? I think it's the one on the first floor. Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. First floor? Well, you said one of the flats was empty. Yes, which means the owner of the other flat keeps a dog. I hate dogs. <laughs> Tell me about it. Noisy, smelly creatures. Can you imagine the eye of Adam being a dog lover? Can't see why not. In that case, it might be worth looking into. <laughs> what kind of logic is that? If Mitzi said no, there's no way he's a dog lover, then we just cross it off. <laughs> All right. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. Her husband? I'm not sure. I hardly ever see her. When I do, it's usually in the hall. When she's pushing a pram with a baby inside, she always has tons of shopping hanging from it. I nearly asked her once if she needed help to carry it upstairs. Nearly. And? I hesitated for a moment, and by the time I offered, she grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. Hmm. There are strange noises coming from flat seven. Interesting. What kind of noises? Like screaming, explosions, guns. Then there are threats and insults shouted very loudly at someone. Hmm. I think I might know what's going on there, but it's worth checking anyway. Do you know the person who lives in that flat? No, I don't. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. All I know is what I overheard from neighbors' gossips. Hmm. We have a lot of shady people in the building overall, including us. We're pretty shady, aren't we? <laughs> okay, I think that's all that we know at the moment. You mentioned a pram. This reminds me, I found an old baby pram in my bedroom among all the stuff. <gasps> Do you have kids, Miss Ashworth? You never talk about it. Mm. Oh no. No, I don't have children. But you did, didn't you? Come on, Miss A, it's all right. You can talk to me about it. Mm, all of them are pretty dismissive of the whole thing. I want to know more, Susan. Let me know. Is that why me and my husband split up? Maybe the child died somehow? You don't want to know about my problems. I just really want us to be friends. I swear to God I could do with one. I'm not very good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Friends should trust each other, you know. I told you about Jack and everything else. Why can't you just do the same? You told me about Jack because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. Why does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't ten terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Even... Even for me? Susan, 
I feel like she's been stuck in the past for 10 years. She never really fully processed whatever happened. Miss Ashworth, I, I'm so sorry. Your mug, it was an accident. Oh no, her favorite mug. You know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. Again? Oh, Susan's very delicate. We gotta make progress so slowly. I wanna look at the mug. Oh, I think Mitzi went back to her room. This is Mitzi's room now. I shouldn't go in uninvited. Who is always coming over here? I bet nobody knocked on my door before my suicide attempt, and now suddenly everybody, every day. Who is it? You didn't say that when Mitzi came. Whoa! Flowers. <gasps> what? What's that? In your other hand. Mitzi! Go away. Leave me alone. Mitzi! I don't know what she can do! Let me hide in your room! Oh my god! Why are all these people just after me? I thought the maggot lady said they don't know about me. Why are people knocking on my door killing me? What the hell? That guy even brought flowers too, like what the hell? Oh lord. Okay, that's where my body is, right? What about the other side? Okay, let's visit somewhere else. <laughs> Locked. But there must be some way to open this padlock. Numbers? I don't know just yet. Uh, 666. Six, six. No. <laughs> What the hell? I can't see anything useful here. Just parts of old boats and empty barrels. It's hard to tell from the distance, but it looks completely abandoned. A shipyard? So colorful too. Is this the real world or...? It would probably just fall apart if I got in. It's so old and rotten through. Okay. Oh. One eight four. Is that the code for the padlock? Oh, three, three, eight four. According to the shapes that we're seeing on the screen right now. So this is not the real world then. It's some sort of a hallucination place thingy. Ships. I can't understand most of it. It's all technical stuff. Wait, what's this? Minimum passenger handling capacity, too. How bizarre. This must be related to my past. An elevator? Would it take me under the surface of the sea? It doesn't look very safe, but it might be the only way out of here. I don't think it'll work. There's no power. It must be activated somewhere else. Maybe that building at the bottom of the pier? Okay. Andrew Ryan, wait a little bit. I'll be there in a sec. Just hold on.
384. 384. Do we want to look at that weird thingy, the skeleton thingy in that place? What is it? Oh, whoa. Oh, that's when I was a nurse, right? I'm wearing scrubs. What is this thing? I think the worst thing about it is it looks a bit like me. I just walk past it? It sounds mechanical. No, that's it. I can't walk past anymore. I don't know how you saw that it looked like you, but uh, okay. What about this side? Oh my lord. Okay, Mitzi. I know you're really goth and all, but you redecorating my house is going a little bit far. This room. Why did it have to be this room? Because you don't want it to be this room. It's locked. Hmm. We have to open the padlock. <gasps> what? Oh, it's uh, oh, there's no exit! It seems I'm trapped in my own living room. Well, it's not really my apartment. I hope it isn't. I don't think I'm strong enough to break through this wall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Strange. The back of the mirror seems loose. Could there be a secret compartment behind it? My fingers are too thick. I need something sharp to lodge it. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me, Sozen. I don't think I can push it, right? Alright. An old torn up piece of cloth is resting on my coffee table. What's that? There is a knife underneath. Good. Knives have been quite useful lately. Sharp? Don't stab yourself! <laughs> no, I wanted you to stab the mirror. Ah! I knew there was something hidden there. A key, and what's that? A lever? Pull the goddamn lever, man! A small key. It's the key to the spare bedroom, currently Mitzi's room. Okay... Do you think I can, like, knife past this place? Well, that ain't working. I might have the key to Mitzi's room, but I can't even access it right now. I'm not strong enough. Unlock! Unlock the wall! Mmm, hold on. That's not it. Oh, the lever! I didn't even pull it. Oh my god. A mace. Hey, the one that I killed the doctor with? It's a homemade maze. Yeah, with the doll head and everything. Get over here. Heck yeah, Susan. Let's go. No! But wait! I didn't open the padlock place. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm not done yet. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, I guess we got a life back. Is it related to the saying about how cats have nine lives? This whole thing? 
It's locked. Well, we should be able to do the same on this side. Did it change? No. Locked, but there must be some way to open it. Three. Eight. Four. There's me again. There is a small hole on the side of the panel. I guess I need some kind of lever to operate it. Which... Can I stab a knife or my mace in there? Let me look around first. Oh, there's multiple of these. Machinery. I've seen this machine before, when I first visited this wicked world of the dead. Back then, it was my blood that turned it on. Oh, is it the same machine? Oh. It looks a bit different from the others. There's a lever here. Hmm. There's a noise coming from above, but I can't see what's making it. Okay. I can take the lever. And there's four other places that need lovers here. With a... a Shadow Susan in the back. Am I gonna have to hurt her? Oh my lord! You've gotta be kidding me! Do I take this now since we don't need it anymore? Or do we ever need it? Will we ever need it? I don't think so. Oh. Uh... Can we just put them all down? The levers? Oh my god. I'm guessing we're trying to get Susan to go to the- some other place. Maybe the end? Actually not too sure where she would like to go. Or, are we trying to kill Susan? That's messed up. Give me that back. No. Oh, do we have to kill her though? That seems like it's wrong, but I can think of how to kill her right now. Because if we... Oh gosh. If we... Put down this one here. Operate it. And then we take this one. And instead... This has got to be wrong, right? We're not trying to kill her, but I want to see what will happen. This has got to be wrong. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Susan's not that stupid. God damn it, she comes right back too. She's a smart cookie. <laughs> okay, so we gotta force her to go over there then, I bet. Which means... Put it here. Smash it down. Move up, Susan. You got no place to run. Keep at it. And then I'll take you. And you, you gotta keep going. She's wearing regular clothing here though. Not the scrubs that we saw in the previous room. Oh! God, I... I got distracted for a second here. Alright, get over there, Susan. Get over there and stay over there, okay? Don't walk back. Can I use the knife as a lever, by the way? This is so tedious. Just putting in the stuff. Hmm. <laughs> no, the answer is no. Is that good enough? 
And then maybe I'll put this one on the main machinery, or... Uh... Can you go further? Maybe? One more? Well, she's moved ahead. That's for sure. And now we operate the main thing. Sorry, Susan, if this hurts. Oh my god! I have a knife. Don't touch me. Do I gotta go here? We're still trying to activate the elevator, right? So it seems like each time, we need a sacrifice from the candle by blowing it out. And we also need blood. Did we do blood for the previous two times? Actually, don't quite remember. Oh, Susan! Can you, like... Kill this... Oh. If you walk a little closer, maybe? But you don't actually have a knife, that's the problem. The one in the back. No? Oh. Oh. Oh, what the heck, she's following me. Scrubs, right? Or is that the the patient outfit? I don't really want to go back in that room again. Oh, because we need we need two people to operate the elevator. Yeah, weirdly enough, that hospital that we were at previously, the nurse outfit, the scrubs, and the patient outfit were the same color. So right now, I thought it was the scrubs, but I think it's actually the patient outfit. And we don't need power. Reaches my hands. Well, maybe it's this Goodbye, other world. I have no idea what any of this is supposed to symbolize. Pressure! Oh my god! 